Okay, here we'll talk about the concept of convolution. It is a rather uh, advanced concept. So originally, uh, the, uh, it is defined like this. If I have a function which is integrable on the real line, and m in my comments here will represent the Lebesgue, Lebesgue measure on the real line, and I have another function which is essentially bounded on the real line, again with respect to the Lebesgue measure, then convolution is defined by the following formula. Of course, when you define something like this, you have to first make sure that the integrand here is an integrable function with respect to the variable y, otherwise it doesn't make sense. Uh, and the reason why this is so is in fact uh, due to due to transfer of measure theorem or substitution theorem and due to Hall inequality and listen to this is the is his y if I call this function f with subindex x so it's a translation of my original function f with respect to the variable y so by transfer of measure or substitution theorem we discussed with you quite extensively earlier I claim that this function f sub x is also integrable and that's true for every x and in fact the integral or the norm or one norm of this translated function is identical to the norm of the original function now after after I made this observation uh, the reason why this function this integral is integrable is in fact by held inequality because by held inequality we have something like this the absolute value of the left hand side here which is the absolute value of the product like this we know that when one factor comes from L1 and the other factor comes from L infinity by holding equality the product of these two factors will be integrable function and in fact the integral is controlled by the product like this controlled by the L1 normal one factor and L infinity norm of the other factor, and now we identify these two norms via the substitution theorem. And that is true for every x. So we see uh, by Hall inequality and the transfer of measure and substitution theorem, we conclude that the convolution defined like this is in fact bounded function, and the, you can control the bound of this function by the, by the right hand side like this by the right hand side like this. Uh, it is a moment reflection in fact that uh, you can alter this argument uh, to the setting where you can alter this argument to the setting where f comes from some p summable class and g comes from some other q summable class as long as p and q are connected by this relation because that will let me that will let me repeat the similar estimate with the well, with the fully fledged held inequality with the, with the indices p and q, here it is. I can now claim that the absolute value of the convolution at the point x, which is this value, again by held inequality, because this is a p summable, this is a q summable, the product will be summable or integrable function, and you can control the integral by the expression like that. Again, by the transfer of measure theorem applied to the p summable class this time, this is replaced like that. And that is true for every x. So we conclude that the convolution is an, again bounded function and you can control the bounds like this. Now what we just discovered with you, this final inequality or the version of this inequality when, when p equal 1 and the q equal infinity this is a special case of what is known as Young's inequality. Uh, later on we will establish the general version of the Young's inequality, but for now that's, that's what I will call the Young inequality. Now, the concept of convolution, which is defined for a couple of functions f and g like this, it in fact can be extended to the, to the setting where g is also integrable. The problem with this extension is that when g is integrable, this function is no longer this product, this integral, is no longer integrable, and so you cannot directly define the convolution with a formula like this. 
you have to do some extension in order to be able to produce a concept equivalent to the concept of convolution equivalent to something like this and that's how, how it is normally done again this is sort of implicit uh, sort of construction which in the in the practice stay hidden but once we have to discuss this construction with some details